Okay, really quickly, I want to show you guys how I clean my beauty blenders because if you're following me on Snapchat, you already know I'm taking care of the brushes and this is what I've done so far. But really quickly, I want to show you guys, I do use a little bit of coconut oil and excuse it for looking like that Chloe got her hands in my coconut oil last night and I did go ahead and wet up the sponges so it is like softer and it's able to absorb what I'm about to put on it and then that is the hydrothermal naturals soap that I was using I'm just gonna take a little bit of the coconut oil uh, and I'm Drew is home with me because he's not feeling so great, so he's there eating. But I'm taking the coconut oil and I'm just massaging that into the beauty blender. As so. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the soap as well, just to get that absorbed into there. So I can go ahead and clean off. And as you can see, that would help to remove the makeup and stuff in there. So you just go ahead and play around with it. And they got with school. So yeah, I'm just going to throw that here in the jar. And we're going to let that soak a little bit. So I'm going to do one more for you guys. I'm going to take a little bit of the coconut oil. Massage that into the sponge. And as you see, I use all different kinds of sponges. Of course, my favorite was the black one. That's one is from Beauty Blender. It's the Beauty Blender Pro. This one here is only like $5. And it's made by Real Techniques, who also makes some great brushes. Sponge. I like the flat angle of this sponge. And I also like that it has the round pointed tip as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to that pointed tip part. Because that's where all the concealer and stuff is. That I'll be using so and then I'm gonna go ahead and rub that against the soap again so it can get coconut oil. So, coconut oil you know we use coconut oil for everything right Drew yes <laughs> okay so this is what we're left with our bucket of sponges that's pretty much absorbed with the hundred percent virgin coconut oil <laughs> and I'm also using the hydrothermal naturals organic scalp soothing shampoo bar with tea tree and peppermint oil if you see all the ingredients it has a whole bunch of goodness in it uh, coconut oil olive oil castor oil sunflower oil cocoa oil sea butter all type of good ingredients and the fact that it's organic is one of the reasons why i like to use it on my brushes so yeah that's what the soap is looking like so from here i'm just going to take the bucket to the sink and go ahead and fill it up. Now you don't want your water to be too hot. I do use um, medium water so I put the cold and the hot water together so it could be nice and warm. And as you can see, I just go ahead, you know what, I'm just going to add the soap, I mean the water here so it could be submerged and pretty much just soak in there and get nice and clean. So I'm going to let it soak for a good maybe 20 minutes or so. It doesn't really matter. The sponges aren't going to break down. So that is what I'm left with right now. They're just going to sit there and soak for a little bit and I'll show you how it is when I actually rinse it out. Alright, so I finished up the rest of the brushes. All of that is done and Okay, so this video was recorded with my iPad and with the water running and everything, I thought I'd just do a voiceover at this part. But here I am, I'm taking the sponge out of the water, running it through some clean water and just basically working the product and the soap and, you know, working all the dirt out. Going in and dabbing, yeah, dabbing the, um, the beauty sponge onto the soap and just making sure that it's all clean and as you can see the soap is all white there's no more foundation or concealer or anything coming out so just running the clean water back through the sponge and wringing it out making sure everything is all nice and clean 
you don't want to leave any soap or anything behind because then your sponge can mold in the inside but here you see it's pretty much clean just rubbing out those last little kinks and spots that's on the outside of the beauty blender making sure it's all clean and as you can see there we have it everything is nice and clean looks like new so just going and setting that on the side round two is done so here's a look at the sponges everything is nice and clean you can tell that it's time for me to clean my brushes when you see these mini eggs in the rotation because I can't stand those but I did use those to help blend out my concealer again I used my Sigma brush cleaning mat to help me out here along with the hydrothermal naturals shampoo bar soap that they have and yeah so that was a task but we got it all done thanks for viewing with me if you guys um follow me on snapchat and you saw the behind the scenes of this video definitely give me a quick little thumbs up or say snapchat fam down in the comments below and until next time beauties i'll catch you on the next one bye y'all look at my little wrinkly fingers it would be worse trust me if i didn't have that segment mat my fingers would be looking worse, but <laughs> bye, y'all.